my greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. Today, May 27, 2015. My name is Viktor Fursov, and I am a research scientist at the Institute of Zoology of National Academy of Sciences in Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. If you are interested in plants, if you are interested in botany, if you are interested in life cycle of plants, if you are interested in something interesting about plants, either domestic or wild plants, this video is especially for you. Despite I am zoologist, I am looking around for different plants. And if you are a beekeeper, this video will be interesting for you. Because I will show, under the big magnification of the microscope, the pollen of different plants, which are important plants for collecting nectar and honey in your beehives. Honeybees collecting honey from these plants. First of all, I will show, I will tell, I will show you just tiny plant and tiny pollen of Canvalaria majalis or lily of the valley. Very simple plant, probably no honey from lily of the valley, but I will show you because it will be interesting to compare three different species of plant and three different types of pollen. But others they are important for collecting honey. And these are two different plants and they are very similar. They look like a little bit similar because their leaves they are looking similar. One is white white acacia or pseudo acacia. Pseudo acacia. Very common and very important for nectar collecting and honey producing by your honeybees. You see these white White flowers are very common, but very well known. The scientific Latin name Robinia pseudacacia. And the second plant is a th this one. Their yes, leaves look like the same, quite similar, but they are different. And the stem, the stem, the branches with big horns, with very big horns, like that. This is a horn. You can recognize. So how big is it, this horn? It's still very soft because it's a green but, and it's growing. But what about flowers? Flowers are very small. Flowers are small, they are together in small inflorescences, definitely in small inflorescences. And but they are of course different from pseudacacia or white acacia. So you can recognize this plant of Lidicea. That's a scientific name or honey locust tree. Honey locust tree and these tiny inflorescences were he here near the beginning of a branch and you see they are absolutely different if you compare honey locust and pseudocatia or robinia pseudocatia. Okay, so that's I am very pleased to show you robinia pseudocatia and Lidicea triacanthus important plant for honey collecting by your honeybees. Well, and if you are interested in how pollen of these two different plants looks like, I will show you it under the high magnification of a microscope, under the magnification 100, 200 and 800. So follow to my video, watch next small video about pollen and of course subscribe to my channel, press like and follow to me because I will show you many other interesting stories about botany, plants, insects, animals, about nature and nature conservation. And see you soon on my channel. And good luck and follow to my channel. See you soon. Enjoy plants. Enjoy nice smelling plants. Robinia pseudocotia. Religious Good luck for you. Good luck.